Do you ever wonder if you're using an operator to their full potential? Or wonder if you're just playing trash at the game? Well, wonder no more now that I, a very definitely not average player, is here to help you understand how to utilize each operator the right way. Let's start off with someone new, Mr. Mustache, or as the game calls him, Warden for some reason. I mean, he's a man that has a nice mustache, and he also wears a nice tie, because formality is of utmost importance when you're killing terrorists. His real name is Colin McKinley. He's a Secret Service agent who has come in contact with more flashbangs and smoke grenades than I ever have, which to be fair, is zero. But what does experience with flashes and smokes have to do with anything? Well, I mean, not a ton, but that experience has led him to develop some state-of-the-art eyewear that can reduce the effects of flashbangs and increase visibility in smoke. Which probably doesn't matter if there's a glass staring at you through said smoke, but who cares, he has a unique running animation and a sexy watch. I mean, look at this. Anyways, his gadget runs for about 9-ish seconds, and that could be toggled off at any point. But it cannot be used again until it's fully recharged, so don't just toggle it on if nobody is near you. A flashbang will not come out of nowhere, just use your ears and judge if someone is coming near you and is possibly using a throwable. Also, how is this man a 1 speed 3 armor? He's wearing one damn bullet resistant vest and that's it. Does the mustache give him some magical powers that I'm not aware of? We're getting off topic, aren't we? Well, how useful is his ability? Well, I wish I had a solid answer for you, but it seems like every game I play with him, people don't seem to use smokes or flashes. And if they are used, it's not at a very convenient moment in time for me. So here's a demonstration of how his gadget works in Terrorist Hunt, which for some reason doesn't need to run at 60 FPS. His ability to see through smoke is just like glass after the rework. The longer you stay still, the easier it will be to see through. You can see how well you can see through smoke based on that little indicator at the side of your screen. The more full the bar is, the easier it is to see through the smoke. If you keep moving, all the benefits are pretty much null. His ability to counter flashes does not require you to stand still, and it mostly is what I would use him for. I mean, given most of the time, where I see smoke, there might be a glass. So we know what his gadget does, but do his weapons complement him well? Well, for primaries, he has the M590A1 shotgun and the MPX submachine gun. Neither of these guns are phenomenal by any means. While the M59 packs a punch, it really won't help you too much if you see anyone through smoke who's further away than the distance between me and my fridge. Spoiler alert, that's like three feet away. I usually run the MPX with him which also is not a stellar weapon by any means. I enjoy being able to kill things from a distance, but it really just feels like my bullets shoot feathers that just tickle people. But it is usable if you can be accurate, and it isn't my least favorite gun in the game, but with 26 damage it's going to take you at least 4 shots to down someone unless they're already injured or you're headshotting them. When it comes to secondaries, you've got the P10C and the SMG12. Let's be real here, who is going to use a single shot pistol? Especially when you have something that will hold bullets down the range for you. So now that we know that basically everybody is going to use the SMG-12, how good is that? Well, on PC you could probably control the recoil pretty reasonably, but me, a console pleb, the gun really has a lot of recoil. But all in all, it's not that bad. I mean, most high rate of fire weapons in the game do come with some pretty high recoil, and to compensate for that barrage of bullets, you kinda need some recoil. With a capacity of 32, it is pretty much a submachine gun, as much as it is a machine pistol. I mean, the name is SMG-11, so... Pick it if you can control the recoil. Or not. I mean, realistically, if there's someone right in front of you, just spraying the gun will probably net you the kill. Don't use the SMG-11 for, for range. It's not really designed for that. I mean, if you can get some nice picks and headshots, I mean, it's all it really matters is one bullet in this game, because everything can headshot you and kill you instantly but that's besides the point oh and warden can also choose between an impact grenade and barbed wire but that really doesn't matter i don't know who anyone who decides to pick an operator based on their fucking equipment choice i mean overall warden can be useful in the right hands he has an ability that's very niche and sometimes it won't even be used for a whole round 
All it really depends on is if the other team is running with smokes and flashes. And in my experience, people don't seem to use either of those in an effective enough way to justify Warden even being picked. His gadget is super situational, and his weapons are just kind of meh. I mean, you can use them once in a while, but honestly, there's better choices. Nah, who am I kidding? Of course I'm going to main him. I mean, look at that stash.